Ladies and gents, hello and welcome. My name, of course, is Obito Potato. This is Into the Breach. We are heading to a frozen island now, which is very, very, very exciting. Pinnacle Robotics is going to give us a nice free tour with aliens included, which is very, very nice. Uh, okay, thank you very much, video game. I appreciate that. Anyway, yeah, third island. It's pretty exciting. We're, uh, we're kicking right back off. We've just spent all of our reactor cores, all of our corporate reputation. Not like I had much reputation anyway to begin with, but now I've got even less. Uh, we can either go to the Lifeless Basin, youtube.com forward slash open potato, uh, or District Z1001. Break five buildings out of the ice, end battle with less than four mech damage. I mean, there's a high threat level in the Lifeless Basin, however... There are more rewards on the line. I think that we're going to start with District Z1001 to start with. I also have absolutely no idea how we break buildings out of the ice. Invincible whilst frozen. Any damage will destroy the ice. Okay, I'd, I guess that makes perfect sense. So we need to basically... It looks like anyway... We need to we need to use that sparingly, and we need to consider that if the enemy deals damage to the building, then uh, then that could necessarily be a good thing, uh, and that might necessarily be a good thing. Also, it looks like it looks like we can. Oh, that is cool. That is very very cool. Uh, it turns into water when destroyed. Must be hit twice. That's a bit of a that's a bit of a problem right there. That's a bit of a that's a bit of a problem. Okay, and what do you do? Shell Scion, all other vec of incoming weapon damage reduced by one. Honestly, that's fine. I, I don't think that that's the worst that we could that we could deal with uh, right now. I really want to move. I really want to move this unit to here, so we block the spawn. And also, the frozen building uh, is not able to deal any damage. Uh, although, it's going to charge forward, isn't it? It's going to charge forward, and it's going to... It's going to chill out on this tile over here. So, that's not exactly... That's not exactly... It's not exactly possible for it to charge forward. Okay. Alright. So, we've got... We've got three chances here. We've got three chances. Let's prioritize. Let's prioritize trying to take this character out then. This this mad lad over here. Let's see if we let's see what we can do. It's so very very far away. That's the only problem. That is the only problem. That's the only problem with this scion nonsense thing. I think getting a getting a hit Getting a hit with the artillery. I think that that's a good call. I think that that's an easy win. It does say that it's going to block spawning. I don't think it actually will block the spawning, but yeah, we'll see. Uh, it certainly makes it easier for me to deal with anyway. Move you over there. We're not going to deal a single pip of damage, but that's okay. Completely, completely, completely okay with that. I'm very, very worried about the ice. You go there, and you move across there. Okay, that's just about the best case scenario for us. Okay. Fine. So one building is out of the ice. You're out of the ice too. We block the spawning of one enemy, but we don't block the spawning of the other. Right. Oh my lordy. Oh my lordy. Are there people living in these buildings? For real? Okay, hardened carapace, uh, the shell scion, yeah, 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 blah, blah, blah. Fangs, web the target, preparing to bite it. Okay, so it's very, very simple. Very, very, very simple. Now, I would very much like to move you into a position where you will attack your friend over there. That makes me very happy. Next... I think we want to try... We want to try and do something like this. So we block the spawn. And then that leaves us with, with just a single... 
a single maneuver, really. I mean, we could actually go for, for an attack here. I actually think that I like the idea of an attack here. Mayhaps we should have opened with that. We we maybe should have opened with that. But to be honest, at the end of the day, it's not a it's not a big deal. We end up defending one of the spawn points. Okay, so that's another interesting that's another interesting point of contention. Also, you only have one HP, so that is fantastic. The good news is is that uh, we now know that the Alpha Beetles will charge into the water by themselves, which is wonderful. You are going to attack, the Alpha Hornet is going to attack two tiles. Stab two tiles in front, okay. That's fine. It's good to know, good to know, good to know. I think we only have one unit that is within range. Honestly? That might be good. Yeah, I'm gonna do that. So you're actually gonna damage the ice for me over there, which is, uh, which is quite handy. I don't think that we've got the... Actually, tell you what. Oh, I love this. Damage the ice? Oh, you're a flying unit. I forgot. Uh, honestly, yeah, I think that's fine. We want to thaw out a couple more buildings anyway. Cool. So we need to thaw two more two more buildings. We need to thaw two more buildings. So you're gonna thaw that one, so we don't want to touch you. We do want to knock. We do want to knock a couple of these guys back. Okay. So there's a lot to consider here. There's a lot to consider. We want to get. We want to hit one more building, basically. One more building needs to be hit. Doing, doing this is is good for us. Is is good for us for sure. I think. So that means that you're gonna hit there. You're gonna hit there. That's great. So now we just need to move you around, or dare I say, you over here. Wait. Oh, you do you do a poison you do a poison attack damage. I didn't even realize that. Volatile mass. Okay. I think that that's fine. Undo the move. We can move up to here. So that's still no way to reach that unit over there. Uh, and... The only damage that we're going to sustain is from this beetle right here. I feel like there is almost certainly a better way that we can play this. Because we still need to devote... We still need to devote... An attack to dealing with... To dealing with with this unit. Let me sort of show you exactly what we're going to do. Eh, we can throw you around, but we go for the kill there. So yeah, we're at the moment set up to just lose one point of HP damage. Okay, you know what? You know what? You know what? You know what? Give me a, give me a reset. Give me a reset. Give me a reset. Okay. Give me a reset. So I use this. I use this uh, this cannon to move you back and you back. But I don't need to do that. I don't need to do that even slightly, to be honest. What's the attack order? You attack second. So it might be worth us pushing, pushing a few things, pushing a few things around. If I go here, am I going to be able to, no, I'm not going to be able to actually attack the beetle. The problem is, is that the, the Grumpage tank is in such a useless position for us. That it presents a problem. Yeah, maybe that's the best case scenario for us, honestly. 
So that's something that we could do. You go here. You can be thrown into the water. But then that still leaves... You're still just flipping useless. That's the problem. So we're still going to take damage somehow. Boy, that sucks. That sucks. That really, really, really sucks. I, I don't see a way around this, to be honest. I don't see a way around this. I need to try and fire right here. Will that make a difference? That will actually make a difference. Hold up. Let me do that. Let me fire right here. Oh, that still doesn't make a difference. So what determines your attack pattern? I have no idea. We're blocked from actually attacking if we... If we're in the water. Oh, it's... You straight up just go... You straight up just go to the end of the world there. Uh, okay. Uh, that still doesn't really solve my issues. No, I, I don't think that there's any way that we can get out of this without taking damage, to be honest. There's nothing that we can even do to deal damage there. It's, uh... It's, it's pretty miserable. Yeah, so we just punch here. We just sustain... We guarantee that we're going to sustain damage there, which, which kind of sucks. But at the end of the day... At the end of the day, I don't think there's anything that we can actually do. Yeah, because we can't even... We can't even push a unit into the line of fire here. Can't attack when we're waterlogged. Fine. Okay. Uh, unless there is some magical way to deal more damage. Which I don't think there is. I think that we just have to... Yeah, no. There's, no there's nothing else that we can do. Okay, that's fine. Look, you know what? Sometimes... Sometimes you gotta hold them. Sometimes you gotta fold them. Don't let that happen again. Yeah. It's a lot of damage. It's a lot of damage. There's a lot of unbelievably good buildings be uh behind the behind this icy veil. Okay. If only all humans showed such concern for their machine counterparts. Am I saving Am I saving computer chips? Is that really what I'm doing? We're going to go to the lifeless basin. High threat level detected. You bet your bottom doll there's a high threat level that's flipping detected. What do we got here? A freeze tank. Freeze and defend both robots. A laser mech. Oh boy, oh boy, oh boy, oh boy, oh boy. I've, I'm, I'm excited about this. Okay. Let's go. Deploy. The Vex are going to be sorry now. That's okay. We can secure the pod. Wait, that's not mine? Wait, what? These robots ain't mine? I don't get to control them? Oh, I hate that on a very, very, very visceral level. Piercing beam. Oh, boy. <laughs> Wait, okay. Wait, so I need to defend... Freeze and defend both robots. So if I freeze him, shoot any projectile at the target that freezes it. Is it just going to straight up freeze forever? All right. You know what? There we go. You love to see it. And then I think we want to go over here. And we want to... Oops. We want to go over here. I want to move this guy back, actually, I think. Can we kill him this turn? I don't think we can. This guy does the... 
ridiculous amount of nonsense damage, actually. Uh, I think we're going to need to try and get him killed this turn. Which means that I think that we need to use our cannon over here. Where is this other damage coming from, by the way? This hornet does just single damage. Who's attacking this, then? Who's attacking that, then? Okay, the hornet's attacking that. Oh, boy, oh, boy, oh, boy, oh, boy, oh, boy. Yeah, I don't like this. I don't like I don't like this one bit. Just for the avoidance of doubt, I, I absolutely do not like this. Absolutely do not like this. The freeze tank needs to be kept alive. The freeze tank, quite simply, needs to be kept alive if we want to if we want to keep things if we want to keep things looking good. Oh, we are gonna take so much damage here. It just doesn't even doesn't even beggar belief. Yeah, so it's worth bearing in mind, the the acid it just it just attacks it just attacks the nearest target, I believe. The robotics lab also only has one HP. The robotics lab is gonna get hit. It's gonna get hit by this flipping goo monster thing, which I kind of hate. What are the chances? What are the chances of me throwing this this guy? Okay, it doesn't actually change anything. However, we can now kill it. Yeah. Yep, that's a that's a solution. That's a solution that leaves us with only one option to, to get a kill. Uh, yeah. Oh boy, I hate this. I despise this. Right, we're going to take a absolute pounding. Uh, it might actually straight up be worth me resetting the turn. I think I'm going to reset the turn. The reason that I'm going to reset the turn is that I think that there might be a better way that we can handle that. I need to keep both of the robots alive as well. That's that's so filthy. I think firing here. No, firing firing there sucks actually. What about firing there? That's fine. I want to... I want to move to here if I can. Okay, you know what? And I want to fire... I want to fire here if I can, but the problem is that I can't fire here... ...without damaging... ...this monster. I also want to utilize the double shot. If I'm able to utilize the double shot, then that's pretty fantastic. Give me that again. Yeah, we still have a problem. We still have a problem here with this with this setup. I gotta freeze. I gotta freeze it again. I gotta freeze it again. Okay. <laughs> I just hate this so much. <laughs> Okay, you know what? Let's go for the double fire. I like that strategy. I like that strategy a lot. It's very good. I like that strategy a lot, lot. It also frees up a, a route for us to get through here. Uh, we, we can't fire on this, on this specific square here. Otherwise, we're going to be... We're going to be in trouble. We can't move this robot around. We can't move him back. So this robot is just going to deal damage whatever we do. It doesn't actually it doesn't actually matter what we do. Um, 
So it's about what can we do to stop that from happening? What can we do to try and minimize the damage? Actually. We can't even move this guy back, because otherwise he's gonna... He's gonna end up... He's gonna end up destroying the robotics hub. Ah, uh, it's a series of terrible decisions that we have to take. Anyway, we do that. That means that he doesn't attack there. We still end up losing an obscene amount of power here. Not necessarily if... Oh, we resist it? Oh, you love to see it. There's only a 20% chance that we actually resist that. Okay, so we end up taking one casualty there. That is fine. That is fine. Okay, freeze bot, you need to... You need to get into range here. Okay, we actually end up starting those two guys together as well, which is which is kind of great. Do I want to toss this this bot? No, I can't toss the bot. I cannot toss the bot. Okay, this is relatively easy to evade. I think that the first move that we want to do is to throw this unit around a little bit. Yeah, so I, I I'm quite happy with that move actually. Yeah, that's good. Then we'll move you in there. We're actually going to freeze you immediately. So freeze and defend both robots. Completely, completely fine. Then I think we do this. We move you over there. You end up attacking nothingness. And then we move you out a little bit. And we do, we do this. Now if we do this... Oh, it's a risky business. That's the only problem. Is that turns into turns into turns into water if we destroy it, which is good. I want to do that. But the only the only theoretical problem I have is that what's going to happen to my droid? I think it'll just sink, right? Oh no, apparently not. Okay, so even though I created a I created damage, it still doesn't end up sinking. Okay, so that's that's completely completely fine. Very, very happy with that. We have taken damage. Thankfully, we resisted. I feel like I've been super lucky with the resists thus far. You attack. Completely fine. We block the enemy spawn over there. Awesome. Okay. The ice tank is now is now just pure profit for us. Like, it's, it's really, really good, in fact. You're not attacking on this turn. Boy, oh boy, that feels good. <laughs> that feels very good. Now, I would love dearly to try and take this thing out this turn. But I don't think that there is any way that I can actually do that. Getting to the pod is, is an idea. Uh, if I want to keep... If I want to keep this ice tank alive, I'm going to need to freeze... I'm gonna need to freeze this. Yeah, I have to do it. Okay, I'm I'm stuck here. It it sucks, but it is what it is. And what about we just Yeah, what about we just bump you a little bit? And in fact, I tell you what, I can just bump you twice. Right into the water and you're dead. That's that's real good. I guess we'll collect the pod as there is nothing more that we can really do. I don't want to move that unit, although it's definitely something that I could do. Yeah, it's not going to make a difference, is it? Uh, I don't really want to do anything. I guess we'll do that. Yeah, that's probably, probably just about the best case scenario for us. So far, so good, though. I think that this is completely fine. Okay, this is the last turn. This is absolutely the last turn. Now, here's the issue. Here's the issue. The poison is going to unfreeze. It's going to unfreeze my dudes. It's going to unfreeze my robots. Which means that I need to either... Do I have the ability to kill this unit here? To be honest, I think that the play is... Ah, oh, that's not a good play. I think that might actually be the play under 
under normal circumstances. But I don't want to end up destroying... I don't want to actually end up destroying the... The robot's ice shield. I mean, that, that is good. That is a good maneuver, but it, it also doesn't fix what we need to fix. You have no ability to move out of there. How much HP do you have? You've got one HP. But now that we've got the Scion to contend with... I also have no idea what your range of movement is. Your range of movement is four. So I'm just thinking, is it possible for us to kill this unit here? And maybe move it around a little bit? Alternatively, we see if we can try and go for a toss. No target available. Or we punch that unit back, and then we're able to move and freeze this unit. I honestly think that freezing this unit is, is one of the only ways that we can go about saving ourselves here. But then again, we need to we'll need to refreeze the robot if we want to get the uh, if we want to get the reward. But even punching even punching this unit is is going to make diddly squat difference. You know what? I think what we need to do is actually allow ourselves access. I think access is is quite important both robots laser bot and mech bot the freeze bot is not essential for our purposes here so is it advan advantageous for me to sacrifice the freeze bot if i do that it's going to end up damaging the the permafrost though which is a which is a big deal okay do this That's fine. This is okay. That is completely, completely fine. Because then we're able to immediately refreeze. Completely, completely okay. We now only need to deal three damage. What if I go here and I'm able to toss you? I'm not able to toss you there. Okay, undo the move there. And then toss you from there to there. I think that that might just be fine, you know? Oh, that still means that you end up doing damage. I think I should have punched you across. I think I should have punched you across, because that would have done two damage. Yeah, I definitely should have punched you across. Okay. Yeah, that sucks. Uh, I should have played that differently. We're going to end up losing. Oh, we don't! A double resist! Okay, we were very, very lucky there. We got two resists over the course of that uh, over the course of that match, and almost everyone was protected under circumstances where almost nobody should have been protected. Like, holy cow. That was very, very fortunate. Okay, a reactor core in the pod, that's that's brilliant. Take less than three grid damage, protect the emergency batteries. Kill at least seven enemies, protect the power generator. I think the Tundra is a little bit easier for us to do. So let's do that. Let's absolutely do that. What do we got here? We got two cannon mechs, which I don't think are going to be on our team. As much as I dearly wish that they were. Dearly, dearly, dearly. Right, I think I want to try and deploy... Like, as, as close as I possibly can. Uh, but at the same time, I'm going to do... I'm going to do something like this so that I have the ability to immediately, like, fire on, on these guys here. I think this is probably just about the best that we can do. Many lives depend on you. I mean, you say that, but I think I'm defending computers here, which is not, not good. Don't web me. Okay, you web me. That's okay. That's okay. Right, what's the attack order here? You actually act before you. Okay. So 
So here's what I'm initially thinking. I either end up knocking... I either end up knocking this dude... Across... Or back. Or something. Something like that, you know? And let's not forget that you can actually just toss you right in there. Which will break the attack. Which is... Which is kind of nice to consider. Yeah. We also want to see if we can try and destroy this scion as quickly as possible. I think. Doesn't look like we're going to be able to block the spawn. Unless we want to... I mean, if I do do this, then we're going to end up breaking the robot. And I don't want to break the robot. I don't think that this robot is going to be on my team. Yeah, it doesn't look like it's on my team. I dearly wish that it was, though. Okay. I think this is okay. Yeah, very, very okay with that. Given that your attack order is before. Then we want to punch you... We don't want to throw you. If we throw you, you'll stay alive. So I want to punch you. Cool. Because we deal two damage. One of those damage is mitigated by the Scion. But that's not the end of the world. And then I think that we straight up just try and... Yeah, deal bump damage. Yeah, I, I think that that's just about... Just about perfect execution, to be honest. Yep. Very, very, very happy with that. Okay, so the Scion is almost certainly going to be dead next turn. Right. Now, I want to go for I want to go for a play here. I want to make a play. I want to make a play. I want to hit this this beetle thing back and then I want to hit it back again. And then I want to hope that it's going to sink the ice. I'm going to act first, okay? And again, it's going to deal the damage, and it's going to deal the damage that needs to be fatal, and the ice is also going to guarantee a break there. Very, very happy with that. That's a double kill. That's that's real good. Okay, let me go here. We're going to go for a toss. Is a toss going to make a difference? It is going to make a difference, because it means that we're not going to be able to... We're not going to be able to be over there. And then I think we're going to move you across to the front line here. Uh, we can move you back a little bit. But to be honest, it's not really worth us doing anything here. I think that we just want to... And we all just want to wait. All of the mechs are fire immune as well. So it's kind of nice to consider. We're protecting the batteries. No issues with that. Less than three grid damage. We haven't got a single bit of grid damage on this map thus far. Literally two artillery beetles to consider. I mean, that is... That is singularly fantastic. Right. I want to prioritize spawning. Or stopping spawning, I should say. However, I think... I think something like this is probably best for us. Yeah, except I'm not going to do it in that order. Here's what I'm going to do. Yeah. Then I'm going to do this to here. Then I'm going to do this to here. And then I'm going to do this to... Here. Here. Right? I think that's I think that's pretty much perfect to be honest. Okay. So I'm going to I'm going to maintain my lead here because I'm going to be able to stop the enemy from spawning in every tile. Blocked enemy, blocked enemy and blocked enemy. Very very happy with that. So they've got to contest me. They've got to contest me with two measly robots and my robots are better Sorry, bugs. They've got to contest me with bugs. And I've got robots on my side. It's that easy. I mean... Sure. There we go. That was... That was a perfect victory. And it felt like a perfect victory, to be honest, as well. It felt very, very smooth. Very, very solid. Very, very nice, to be honest. Okay, we gotta take our last... 
got to take our last mission objective. I think we're going to go for the Ice Forest. We could go for the Pinnacle Garden with defensive shields active. You know, it's a nice little a nice little bonus, but that's uh, that's fine. I don't think we need it. Freeze Mine. Any unit that stops in this space will be frozen. Kill at least seven enemies. Protect the generator. The generator is over here. Right. Right. Just deploy there. I want to try and... Oh, pod incoming. Interesting. If you can secure the time pod, please do, but do not put any sentience at risk. Oh, you twits. That's actually problematic for us. I'm pinned. Okay. I, I see a couple of options here. I see a couple of options. A lot of options, in fact. A lot of options. Aurelio, I think... The priority should be... The priority should be... To try and... To try and freeze this thing. This thing, freezing this thing is, is important. Five flippin' damage? Honestly, you can just go for a toss. You can go for a toss right into water, and that is like a, a, a super value kill, given that this thing generates like so much damage. So I think that the, the play is to do is to do that. So we freeze you, and then that stops three damage from occurring. You go for a toss. Excellent. Really, really, really happy with that move. And then we do we do something like I want to knock you into the water, because that is important. I also don't want to take damage here. Is there a way? Yes, there is actually a better maneuver. Oh, that is so good. And we end up blocking the enemy from spawning. Okay, so we've already killed two enemy units, and we've done it without, uh, without considering the effects of the Scion. Artillery? Artillery units? Artillery units are fine. Lots of enemies going to be spawning here. Lots of enemies going to be spawning. Right. Undo the move there. I think that we want to get this Scion out of its out of its shell. If we're able to do that, then that would uh, then that would be fantastic. That would be really really good. Let's move you over here. We'll do that. Fine. Then we're going to move... Then we're going to move you over to here. Yeah. The reason that it needs to be here is that if we hit from this angle... Oh, actually, no. It doesn't necessarily need to be there, but it's better to be here, I think. So anyway, we deal zero damage, which I totally appreciate. Yeah, if we didn't do it there, then we would end up moving the ice cube into ourselves, which would really, really, really suck. Okay, so that makes everyone, like, a gazillion times easier to kill. And we still end up blocking a spawn there. That was pretty good. I mean, if we were properly min-maxing... Then we would have done that action before we attacked this little bug guy here. But we didn't, so that's fine. This makes makes killing the artillery bugs just a heck of a lot easier. Honestly, flying units? Flying units and artillery bugs? I, I can take them all day, to be honest. Like that is that is something that I am completely confident doing. Uh, and and very happy to do, in fact. Yeah, I mean that's pretty much a double kill right there. Uh we can even get ourselves a double kill right here because we've got a double a double cannon. Let's go for this. And yeah, let's do that. Very, very happy with that. Uh, it's just a simple case of moving, to be honest. It's just a simple case of moving. Just move lull. Nobody's got enough HP for, for me to survive attacking them and still end up blocking the spawn. Okay, move over there. Don't want to do that.
Uh, yeah, I think we just move here and we just go for a... We just go for a big hit. Yeah. I think that's fine. Okay, so we still need to kill two enemy units, but we need to do that on the, on the last turn. Unless there is any other way of going about doing that. I, I, I don't think that there is. Yeah, I think I'll just, I think I'll just play it safe. Play it safe. Fine. And fine. Two enemy units. And protect the power generator. Oh, you've ended up doing something like that. Okay, one kill is easy. One kill is very, very easy here. We need to knock this unit into... knocks it back. It doesn't knock it into throwing range. Um, yeah, this thing we need to freeze. This thing we need to freeze. Th this Alpha Hornet is not going to die on water, is it? I don't think it dies on water. Flying units can move over to any terrain tile. Uh, so I don't think, I don't think that it's going to die. I don't think that it's going to die if I, uh, if I attack the water or if I attack if I attack it. Which is a bit of a shame. I should experiment, though. I should experiment. But then I also run the risk of unfreezing. Unfreezing this. Uh, and we also need to bear in mind that we are going to... Look, I should experiment. I should experiment. Let me do the experiment first. We can always rewind time. Fine. You're actually going to end up killing you. What's the attack order here? You end up going first. It's a complete waste of time. All right. Reset the turn. We have to do it. Oh, boy. All right. Things are spicing up. Things are, are spicing up real hard. Things are very, very spiced. move you across. I don't want to do that, though. I don't want to do that. The thing is, is that we have a lot of work for the artillery to do. In my mind, I envision the artillery... I envision the artillery attacking this unit right here to move it into one of the... To, into one of the tiles. So, you know, working over here and moving it back in range over there. But that's not going to allow us to kill another unit. We need to kill one final unit. Um, and we also need to prevent damage over here. Any unit that stops on this space will be frozen. That is a big old problem. That is a big old problem. I mean, if we have to take damage, we have to take damage. So we will bring this thing forward. Uh, okay. Yeah, so I think that this is the play. I think this is the play. This is very, very much a case of damage mitigation at this point. Because I don't think that we're going to be able to get the extra two kills in order to get the, uh, to get the final requirement. So it's how can we get away... How can we get away with only... A few bits of damage. I've royally screwed the pooch on this one, haven't I? Oh boy. Four flipping damage is queued up. Oh no. I, there's just no, there's just no way to, there's just no way to do this. Uh, I've already used my reset as well, which is highly problematic. We're going to take a monstrous amount of damage here. And the crazy thing is, is that if I attack this, it's not actually going to end up dealing the damage that I need it to deal. 
Oh, this is just, uh, it's just so garbage. So if I unfreeze this, I'm actually going to end up giving myself more of a headache. Whoa. Yeah, despise this. Despise, despise this, despise this. I can't even move here and attack, can I? No. You know what? End the turn. Yeah, uh, send me into this stratosphere video game. Okay, we actually straight up resisted. Wow, okay. That was fortunate. That was fortunate. I don't think that we could have really got the additional kill there. Or the additional two kills that we required. A reactor core. We got a lot of reactor core activity going on. Right, we gotta head to the corporate HQ. I'm gonna do that in just a second. I feel like we should definitely spend the reactor cores on something. What do we wanna what do we wanna spend it on? I feel like weapon damage to be honest. Vice fist? Ally immunity? Requires three power plus two damage. I'm straight up you know what? I'm I'm committed. I'm committed. The glass cannon build is is happening. All right, what do we got? Large goo. Destroy five goos. Fine. Okay. Make them start next to each other. That's completely fine. Got to protect the HQ. Do goos sink? All right. I actually don't like this position. We're quite hemmed in. I think the play, from what I can see anyway, this jerk makes it a little bit difficult, is that we do this. I'm assuming that the goos... I'm assuming that the goos are able to be immune to water. They can be more challenging to kill. It's a good thing that I didn't do that move. Otherwise, I would have felt like an idiot. Yeah. I mean, if we were to toss you over there, would that be would that be workable? Sure. I'm going to do that. That's that's really really good for us, I think. Then what, what do you actually do? Do you actually have an attack? Attempt to squish the adjacent tile. Alright. Interesting enough. Yeah, we just knock you back, I guess, for one. Not like we can do anything else. And then we just need to find a way to... Yeah, knock you out of... Uh, knock you out of harm's way. Okay. Action available. Yeah, we don't really have anything to do. We do have another cannon ability, but we're not going to do anything with it. All right. Things are spiced. Things are very, very spiced right now. Oh, it's the jerk all over here. Okay, you're going to attempt to squash the, the, next, the next tile. Honestly, I think that this is okay. I think this is okay for us. Destroy five goos. I, I I don't even think that I can try and destroy five goos, to be honest. We do deal, like, an obscene amount of damage. Okay, I think that we just go straight up for a punch. Okay, punch is good. The punch is good. The punch looks, looks solid. And go for a double hit over there. I think we want to move you down here. Yeah, I think we want to do that in order to in order to move the goo back. Okay, move the goo back. So far so goo. Duh. <laughs> and then you know what? I think we just do go for a double hit. Yeah, go for a double hit with a cannon. Yeah, that was pretty good, actually. Alright. 
destroy five goos. There is zero chance that I'm going to be able to destroy five goos. Unless, of course, there are, like, more goos that come my way. But I doubt it. Honestly, the more Walter gets exposed here, the better I feel. Alright, how much damage does this thing deal? That's the real, the real question. It only deals one singular bit of damage. First of all... I feel like this is a, a good move, but it's not something that we can, it's not something that we can do at this moment in time. We gotta, we gotta play it a little bit more safe. Uh, yeah, we also need to make sure that this cannon stays right here, or at least advances. But to be honest, I think we want to make it stay right here so that we can fire twice. You can't move at this moment in time, which is a bit of a pain in the backside. We can kill the goo. We can definitely kill the goo, and I feel like that's what we want to do. But we also need to defend our HQ. So what are we gonna do? If I move you out of there, you're still gonna attack. We have to defend the HQ. We have to defend the HQ. It's how we get our points. It's how we get our points. It's how we... It's also a grid. It's also a grid point. Uh, we could resist. We could resist. We're gonna have to move... It doesn't actually matter if we move this guy forward or backwards. We're just gonna still have to deal with him somehow. Okay, that's that's a plan. That's a plan. Unfortunately, though, no ability... No ability is going to save us right now. Yeah, fine. Okay. Well, we're going to end up taking a little bit of damage. Maybe we resist. Maybe we don't. Let's see. Let's hope. Okay. Pyro lost. 70 casualties. Maybe, just maybe, we can kill more goos. You never know. Are they both deciding to threaten the same... Oh, no, they're both threatening different buildings. Oh, flippin' heck, I hate this. I hate this. Okay, I guess I could have figured out the, that the goos split up, but given that I now know that they do, I might choose to do things slightly differently. Who are you attacking? Attacking that unit over there. Okay. What's the attack order? This guy moves first. So what I'm thinking is that we attack here, move you back. You're then going to attack this guy, even though you end up dealing one damage. It sucks, but we're going to have to just take it. Then we need to find some way to either attack this or this. I think it's probably got to be this. Yeah, because this is not going to be... Uh, this this mech is going to be no help on this turn. Which is a big old pain in the backside, actually. Uh, a lot of difficult decisions to make. Sure. Crazy thing is that we're still going to end up taking damage. Oh, we can actually kill this goo over here. Okay. That's not bad. No way that I can kill one more goo just by any chance, is there? I don't think so. We're going to sustain a little bit of... A little bit of life force damage here, but... I don't think that we can deal with that, irritatingly. Fine. Is there a better way that we could go about doing that? Is there a better way that we could go about doing that? I, s I strongly doubt it. 
All right. Nice. I guess the XP is good. Oh, we resist the damage. How have we been so lucky with the damage resists? I'm really... I'm trying. I'm trying my best here, folks. Destroying the five goos. That was very, very close. I feel like maybe... Maybe I would have... Uh, I would have worked that slightly differently if I'd have played that before. But eh, for the most part, that's fine. Repairing one mech will affect all mechs. I don't really rate that, to be honest. Push all units in a single direction. That does seem very, very good, actually. Brute class weapon, dash and align, pushing adjacent tiles away. I mean, that sounds very, very good. What's our current brute class weapon? Kickoff boosters? I kind of like kickoff boosters, to be honest. Destroys everything it passes. Raining death. That's, that's very good. That's very, very good. Self-damage? Oh, it does self-damage too. Okay, you know what? I don't want to I don't want to faff around with that too much. I think we just need reactor cores, and I'm gonna buy three grid power. So that gives us one reactor core and three grid power. I think we wanna save up for I think we wanna save up for a weapon damage boost, to be honest. I really like the fact that the Titan Fist now does four damage. That makes me feel a lot more comfortable. All right, Detritus Disposal. By completing three islands, you have unlocked Detritus Disposal. Okay, well, you know what? We're gonna be heading to get rid of Detritus in the very next episode. Ladies and gentlemen, thank you very much for watching Into the Breach. My name, of course, has been Over the Potato. Thanks as ever to the fantastic, the fantastic three mech Patreon supporters that we've got here, Martin of Iron, Grumpage, and Aurelio. Uh, also, thanks to Banana Nanana and C Senpai for being the two twenty-five dollar plus tier patrons. Thanks very much for watching, folks. I'll see you next time. Bye.